Good morning, my lovely Mystic Tribe. This is Mystic Jen, and I am here with your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Uh, all the timestamps will be in the description box below for each zodiac sign. Make sure you check out your sun, rising, moon, and Venus. And feel free to cross-watch, sneak peek at that significant other or that love interest or that if you want to neb in on your neighbor, <laughs> whatever floats your boat, right? And if you would like a private reading with me, make sure you do see the description box below. And because my website's there, my email address is there, and my social media. Yes, I'm trying to become more active on social media. I really am. I'm trying. But you know how that goes. But I'm getting there. Anywho. Um, yeah, so, and you know the drill here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull our Oracle for the day. I'm probably going to pull two of these. This is the, my newest deck. The Shaman's Dream Oracle, Oracle by Colette Barrett-Reed. One of my favorite, um, Oracle, uh, one of my favorites. Um, I love her work. I love her decks. So, that's a little tip for you, Colette, if you ever come across this video. Okay. Let's see what message of spirit has for the collective today. Oh, two cards came out anyhow. Imagine that. Spirit was really talking last night during the live. If you guys missed it, you really missed a great live last night when I was doing my reading. Spirit was talking. Okay, we got the Wailing Tree and we got the Spirit of River, of the River. Movement toward adventure and reconciliations. Um... Intuitively, what the spirits of the shaman is telling me is that you have been going through some struggles. Some, at some way, a lot of us has been going through struggles. You know, it's life. But you know, in with sat with different things that Saturn's been doing, and and now Pluto's in freaking retrograde. You know, hello. Um, but this is talking about you know the struggles, the conflicts. And the spirit of river is moving forward, plain and simple. Yeah, it moving forward, a, um, a movement forward towards adventure. This is like a new path, a new adventure here. You know, reconciliations. I feel like this is reconciliations within ourselves, reconciling our past, deal, understanding what may have happened. And a five and a four is a, a five and a nine. I'm sorry is 14 okay and 14 is temperance which is balance this is reconciling balance restoring balance reconciliations is a restoration restoring balance within ourselves and <clears throat> coming to terms with experiences that we have had so that we can move forward towards a new adventure Powerful message there from spirit. Very. Okay. So now we are going to go ahead and move on to the readings. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Can you believe that April is, I mean, the 30th, last day of April? Holy crap. You know, <clears throat> where have the first four months of this year gone? But let's see what spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. What are the messages for my dear Aries for April 30th, 2021? And make sure you check out the intro because I, have, I pulled the cards for today. Okay, we have... The full card. This is a new adventure. That's what this is talking about. You know, the the what what was said for the collective about the spirit of the river going on a new adventure. This is a new start. This is a clean slate, Aries. And we have the ace of wands in the reverse. 
Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that you may be even a little bit hesitant about go, about taking a chance. That's what I'm getting. Um, and we have Ten of Cups in a reverse. So you may be walking away from an unsatisfactory family situation or work situation in pursuit of something new. But I feel as though there is some hesitant. You're hesitating about it. Why are you hesitating? Because we do have the chariot here. Um, we have the two of cups. Okay, I see why you're hesitant. And we have the magician. So what I feel as though is that I think you're taking some action to move forward within a, a romantic relationship or a partnership, possibly business partnership, because you were in a situation that was not serving you, that you were not happy with, that things were going south in that connection, and then you are considering going on a new journey in a new direction here. Um, why did my candle blow out? Somebody blew that out, and it wasn't me. But anyhow... I feel as though that you may have been hesitant because there is definitely a choice between two. I think that you are in a long established relationship, but you're a little bit unhappy in it. And now there's somebody offering you some, some opportunity, but I think your intuition is kicking in and trying to say, well, you know, things aren't always as they seem, right? And we have the two of pentacles, which is you juggling. So the 30th is going to be about you juggling a decision about who you're going to choose is what I'm feeling here. And I see you having some kind of restraint, um, some inner strength to try to make this decision. Um, I don't see you jumping and making it right away. But I do see you trying to gain some sense of control, some sense of stability is what I'm getting here. Because something is, was just was not going right. So I think that you might be juggling whether do I still try to fix this or, and, and try to turn that Ten of Cups upright. And make, and make my family work? Or do I go off in another direction? I think that's kind of what you are dealing with. Okay, that's what I have for you, Aries. Bye. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Uh, don't forget to check out the intro because I did draw two oracle cards for the collective for everybody. Okay? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages and guidance, please, for Taurus. What are the blessed messages for Taurus for April 30th? 2021. Okay, you have the Queen of Cups. You might be dealing with a water sign. Ah, Seven of Wands. There might be a water sign who is going to be trying to stand their ground with you. Ace of Pentacles, and it could be regarding money, finances, or something that they want. They, it feels like they want you to offer something. Um, whether this is in personal relationships or business or work, but there seems to be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is standing up, maybe even against the odds, trying to, wanting to get ahead. Uh, they may be standing up and for themselves, telling them that they deserve that job promotion, not so and so. That, it, or they may they may be coming, they may want a raise. Um, this could even be your energy in your emotions, keeping basically keeping your the lid on your emotions and stand, but st still standing strong, and demanding that um, promotion or that raise. In romantic relationships, this could be somebody saying, you know what, it's time. I want a stronger commitment. And this is something physical. I'm seeing the circle around here. You know, you might be dealing with somebody that wants, if you are a male, you might be dealing with somebody who's saying, okay, let's go ring shopping. I want an engagement ring. I want to get wedding rings. I want to make something more permanent. If you are the female the, if you are the female, you might be standing up for yourself and saying, listen, I want something more solid, okay? 
We have the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. And yeah, we have a King and Queen here. And they're, they're total, they're opposites. The King doesn't want to settle down. The Queen does. That's what we have here. Um, we have Temperance in the reverse. Uh, and what I'm getting here is this King kind of throws balance out of the whole scenario. Okay, because the king doesn't want that marriage or that doesn't want to change anything the way things are. The queen does. Okay, and there seems to be some kind of upset. Yeah, because we have some, we have a battle going on here. It's like battling against each other, but the queen seems to have the upper hand. I hate to say that. Sorry, but it's not sorry if you are the queen. But we have a queen who has the upper hand in the situation. And she's battling hard for what she wants. And yes, it is causing some drama. It is causing some conflict here. Okay. And then we have justice. There you go. What is fair and just? What she feels is the right thing. That queen feels like the right thing is to get married. I'm going to flat out say it. Or the right thing is to up the commitment. At least get engaged. This is what I'm picking up. Um, in business and work. The right thing is about getting that promotion, getting that raise, okay? Demanding justice that she gets it to that king. That king could be representing the boss. That's what I'm getting here. And, but the king is not wanting to mix things. The king is not willing to combine into one, if you know, if you understand what I'm saying. Not at this point. Um. Then we have the chariot here, Cancerian energy. Somebody, yeah, somebody's taking control. Somebody was going to try their hardest to progress things forward. Okay, but that's what I have for you, Taurus. Bye. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Make sure you do check out the um, intro because I do pull oracle cards now for the collective before I start the main readings. And already, you already have the Queen of Swords falling out of the deck. This is air energy. Um, Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel like this is your energy or it could be a Libra. Um, what I'm feeling is this is somebody who is analyzing a situation. Somebody who is seeing very clear in thought. Okay. And she is about justice. She is about wanting to do the right thing. Okay. And... She makes decisions and she does that are that are logical decisions that are not based on emotions. Okay. You have the three of pentacles. This could be a collaboration or a work. This could be a boss that you're dealing with. If it's not your energy, or you might be a boss, you might be some kind of manager, okay, who has to put is putting down an iron fist, is dealing with a group of people, a team, okay? Um if it's if this is personal relationships, this could be the family members of the family, and you take in charge. Okay, uh, we have the moon card, Cancerian energy. So I feel as though, ah, ha, ha, I I just love it when spirit starts talking here. It's like this queen is finding out some sort of truth and bringing it up to the service tour concerning a group setting, whether that's a family setting or whether that is a third party per se. Um, hate, I even hate saying that, but it might be a third party or if this is in work, work related, you know, this queen bringing out some sense of truth or something going on behind the scenes because with the moon card, something can't stay hidden forever. It eventually comes out justice in the reverse. How funny justice came out. So this queen is discovering an injustice that has occurred. Something that wasn't fair and that whatever it was, was very well hidden. Ace of Cups in the reverse. You know, there. this could be very well some cheating that was going on a third party here. That there was some injustice that was done that she found out. And it's like that cup is spilled over. It's like, and we got betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. So, Gemini. Boy, are you dealing with a whopper this time. Okay. There is some kind of betrayal that's being uncovered. You're going to find out the truth about something. And then when you do, you'll be able to take your cup and leave. Um, uh, there's going to be a lot of reflection. I, I feel as though that 
you know, it's going to be an emotional discussion that is going to be taking place on the 30th in regards to this sense of betrayal, okay? And like I said, this can be some kind of upheaval within a workplace, a work environment, or it could be within a family, even the 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 extended family, like the, you know, your parents or children, cousins, aunts, uncles, however that resonates. But it could be a family dynamic or within even closer within your personal household, okay? That there is definitely some sense of, trying to deal with this and then trying to and then coming up with a clean slate but i do feel that you want justice done and there's going to be really hard to heart conversations going on that is going to lead you on a new journey whether that is leaving walking away from this situation or working on healing it and trying to start with a clean slate okay that's what i have for you gemini bye hello cancer welcome to your daily reading for april 30th 20 21 holy spirit angel spirits and guys what are the blessed messages for cancer and don't forget to make sure you watch the intro because i did pull oracle cards for the collective okay let's see what we have for cancer we have the page of pentacles in the reverse death card in the reverse Scorpio energy. We have the five of pentacles. Okay, somebody may be feeling out in the cold. Or feeling that, maybe not complete. I'm not seeing completely out in the cold. But what I'm feeling is somebody, there. there is some kind of lack of communication that may be threatening to end some sort of commitment contract relationship okay um the death card in a reverse is not an ending yet but the ending is approaching i feel as though you know somebody may be fighting against ending trying to keep something from ending because they don't want to be alone and they're trying to hold something together even though there is a lack of communication going on right now cancer um, we have the Judgment card, um, which is Scorpio energy. And I feel that with Judgment, I think that somebody is trying to reconcile with somebody. Whether this is trying to get somebody maybe walked off the job and they're trying to get their job back or got fired trying to get their job back. Or somebody left a relationship or a relationship split and they want to reconcile. Or... Well, I do not feel it's a complete split yet, but somebody wants to reconcile differences to keep a breakup from happening is what I'm getting. I think this is where your concentration is, Cancer, on the 30th. Okay, yeah, three of swords in the reverse. So you want to heal a situation that is heartbreaking and painful. That's what this is. Trying to heal something, trying to reconcile a heartbreak. Um, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. But it doesn't seem to be going anywhere right now. And I feel like you are going through some sense of struggles. Okay. Knight of Cups um, is here. More water energy. I feel like you are trying really hard to reconcile with somebody. But I see this going off into the future. And towards the Queen of Cups, okay? I feel as though all things happen for a reason, okay? And what I'm feeling here, Cancer, is this isn't working. This person's not talking. This person's not communicating because there is somebody else coming towards you. I, I, I'm getting this image of the universe putting a stop to something, you're fighting against that stop. You're fighting against that change because you're so set on not being alone. And I don't feel you're going to be alone. I do feel that there is new love coming to you once you let this one go. That's what I'm feeling. But I feel that's what... This is like talking about more futuristic things. Here, I think you are dealing with trying to hold something together. 
but understanding why it's not coming together and why they are not communicating is because in the near future, somebody else is, is coming towards you. A true match is coming towards you. Okay, that's what I have for you. Bye. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and gods, what are the blessed messages for my Leos, please? What does Leo need to know? You've got the Devil card, Capricorn Energy, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be those signs. Uh, and you have the Emperor. Wow, you are dealing with somebody with narcissistic tendencies, Leo. And you have to be kind of on your guard, okay? Do not let your emotions get the best of you. Keep them under wraps. You notice the Queen of Cups, her cup is closed. This means that she is not revealing her emotions. Her hidden knowledge is within that cup as well. So I am feeling keep a lid on things. Do not show your hand to somebody. There is somebody who is deceptive around you, who is narcissistic, and they are in a place of power. You have to be on your lookout. Um, eight of Wands. You know, they will try to stun any progress forward. Okay? This is just a little bit of a warning. And I feel as though you need to be very weary about who you are talking to. Okay? Mind your words. Maybe not even communicate with this person. Just go for, trust your intuition. Go with your plans. Uh, we have the King of Pentacles here also with the Queen of Cups. So we have two people here in authority. One person feels like that they are very generous. Somebody very generous, willing to offer you something, whether that's help, information, somebody who it will be loyal to you. Justice. Justice card here. Who will be fair? We have one person who won't be, who is we have somebody who is very um, narcissistic, lying, deceitful, um, will do anything to undermine you. And we have somebody else here that is in a place of authority. And then, and we have somebody who may be helping you with in a situation. This is going to be very specific. This is a legal situation. I'm feeling very much so that they're going to help you in a situation. Others of you who are not dealing with a legal situation, you might be dealing with a, something that you're trying to make a decision about and you have a king of pentacles who is giving you wise advice. Or you might have a couple people who is giving you wise advice and telling you probably to cut that person out and trying to direct you in the right direction. We have the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Um, so this is saying you need to be grounded. And, you know, this could be actually part of that devil energy. Somebody who is not being honest, who is withholding. So I'm just feeling this very strong energy that there is somebody here that is going to be, um, who is going to be giving you very solid, wise advice that you do need to follow. And that includes, there is somebody that you need to stop talking to. Okay. But that's what I have, Leo. Bye. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, what are the blessed messages that you have for my Virgos, please? Blessed messages for my Virgos. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Five of Wands in the reverse. You, Virgo, are dealing with somebody who is who's up to no good, Virgo. You're dealing with somebody who is working behind the scenes, pushing a plan forward, behind your back 
Somebody has been very dishonest and creating some kind of chaos and drama. Okay. And I feel that spirit is saying that you know who this is and it's up to you to make the change. It's up to you to stop them in their tracks. Okay. And we have the four of swords. Absolutely. You need to put a lid on this situation. Okay. It's like we have the three of swords up here. They're causing chaos or causing pain or causing hurt to other people. Okay. And you know this and they may be causing hurt to you. You need to pick up your swords and cut this out. Wow. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They, uh, the only thing that comes to my mind is liar, liar, pants on fire. The moon in reverse. So you are definitely going to find out some kind of information. Something's coming into the light. Something's being uncovered. And I feel as though that you're going to find out that somebody has been lying to you all along about a situation. Okay. And I feel that it's going to be a time where you stomp that lie out, where you stomp this fire out, where you need to back off, back away from this. This There might even have been a, over a third party. There might have been something going on behind the scenes for quite some time. I'm sorry to say this, Virgo, but there's a third party. And this could be in the workplace. This could be drama, drama, drama in the workplace. This could be a boss who's been lying, who's been prom broken promises, promising you things and nothing changing, okay? Um, in personal relationships, there is definitely a, I was a hidden agenda with somebody, and I feel that hidden agenda is coming out to light. You're going to find out that somebody's been lying to you, somebody has been going behind your back, um, strategizing behind your back, basically. And, it's t and I feel as though that you are going to I like take a this is taking a break, taking you know, withdrawing from this scenario. This feels like a very negative energy that you need to back away from and regroup, get your bearings, get a grip on the information that is coming in, and make good decisions and judgment calls. You know, I could almost, I, I am picturing in my mind's eye the judgment card as meaning making a right decision, learning to trust your intuition and go with that gut and, and make, make, making better decisions, Virgo. You need to make some better decisions concerning whoever this King of Swords reverse is in your life. You know, it's, it's like if you have. The best analogy that I could give you, Virgo, is if you have, let's say, um, let's say you have some kind of virus, well, let's say you have a, a cut, you've been cut and it's infested and it's infected. What do you do with that cut? You add antibiotics to it antibiotic cream and you get rid of it it's kind of the same analogy add that antibiotics to that infection this is like it this person's like an infection add that antibiotic to it get rid of the infection okay so that is the message for you virgo bye hello libra welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what are the blessed messages, please, for my Libras? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Something's on an even give and take here. Four of Cups, and you are unhappy about it. You feel kind of stuck in a situation where you're not receiving what you deserve. Ace of Wands in the reverse. And you kind of know that things aren't going anywhere. Okay. You have this feeling that there was this false start or this or something had died. Something that was very passionate and dear to you had died. 
okay? And you because there was not an even give and take here. And you're sitting there unsatisfied. But I do feel that there's another option offer coming towards you. The hermit reversed. But it's going to require you coming out of hermit mode. I feel like that, uh, that's what I'm getting. This is meditation and hermit. Her, very much her, hermit energy I'm feeling here. That you, you're, you're like to yourself, not interacting. You're not looking at anything coming in, coming towards you. It's almost like a disinterest. And you're in this isolation mode. And I feel that there's a new offer coming in. But it it may not it may fall flat on its face or may go nowhere because you are in hermit mode. You're not even interested or looking. Okay. Um we have the ace of cups. This could be a new love connection that is coming towards you that you were not looking for. And I feel like if you do not come out of your shell, this could end up being a missed opportunity. Justice card. There you are, Libra. This is um, restoring balance. Um, this is making, weighing your options. I feel more like restoration of balance, doing the right thing, going on the right path. Okay. Um, there might be, you might even have two paths and weighing both options. One is a dead stop, you know, not going anywhere. The other one is offering you this unconditional love. You need to stop concentrating on the empty cups that is going nowhere because you have a potential of love coming towards you, Libra. Nine of Pentacles. You are in you are in the independent mode, very abundant right now, you know, stable, secure, and Spirit is telling me all because you get into a relationship doesn't mean you have to give up your independence. And I feel that that is a fear that you are do, you are facing right now, Libra. You don't want to give up your independence. And, you know, you might be very move, very slow to move towards this connection because of that fear. Okay. And Spirit is saying you're not going to have to lose your independence to be in this connection that's coming towards you. Okay. So. That's what I have for you, Libra. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Wow, you got cards that just spilled out everywhere. Okay. You have the, um, the Five of Cups in the reverse. The Three of Swords. The sun in the reverse. You're not very happy, Scorpio. Not very happy at all. I feel as though that you feel heartbroken over a situation because what you thought was supposed to be bright, happy, sunny, happily ever after has not been turning out to be that way. I'm feeling like that you're going through a lot of ups and downs here. And you may even have somebody who tries to put all the blame on you, Scorpio. Um... Eight of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody like has, you're dealing with somebody that has a severe wall up. Um, three of Wands. And things are not progressing. Things are not moving forward as you envisioned. And you might have this sense of loss. This, um, but I feel as though that the sense of loss is more about, now this is guilt. Somebody is trying to make you feel guilty, but you're not having it. You know that it's not your fault for what is happening, that somebody that you are dealing with. Now, this could be general, love life, family, work, whatever. But somebody that you are dealing with that keeps, you keep, your heart keeps breaking over and over again, but they don't take responsibility for it. They're not allowing, they're blocking progression forward. They're not, uh, I mean, you, and I feel like with the three of wands in reverse, you're getting to the point that you're tired of waiting. Ten of wands in the reverse. You're tired of carrying the load. You're tired of carrying all the responsibility. It's like this whole connection, this whole relationship lies on your shoulders. It's like 
make it or break it is lies on you. And that is what this person wanted. They don't want to take responsibility for anything that goes wrong. If something goes right, oh, they're all more than willing to take credit. But when things are going south, when things are not going right, and they put their blocks up, it's your fault that they are blocking the progression or anything moving forward. And they put all the burden on you. You fix it. It's your fault. Scorpio, that's a narcissist. <clears throat> Chariot. And this is about the chariot as a, as final card here is talking about it's time you get into that driver's seat. Stop letting them dictate your every move. Stop letting them reflect guilt, their own guilt onto you. Okay. It's time you take the control. And I feel that the it's time you take the reins and you guide the direction that you want to go. And if they want to fight against you, you take control and you tell them, no, it's my way. You know, this is, you tell them, no, this is a two way street, not a one way street. That's the energy I'm getting here. It's like a, a true narcissist. And I feel like maybe you might be, you need to take the ranch and you need to decide what direction you're going in. I think you're being pulled in two opposite directions. I think, your, your heart wants to stay in it, even though your heart keeps getting broken over and over again. But then there's the other side that says you need to go towards the light. You need to find that sun again. You need to find something else that makes you happy. You need to redirect. That's it. Redirect your energies. Okay. Well, that's the message that I have for you, Scorpio. Bye. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and gods, what are the blessed messages, please, for my Sagittarians? You have the strength card, Leo Energy. The devil in the reverse. And the empress. So you got Capricorn here and you got Taurus Libra here. So Sagittarius, this is about gaining a sense of control over a toxic connection here and finding your value and your worth. Knowing your value, knowing your place, knowing what you have to bring to the table. This is being nurturing and loving, and I feel to yourself, showing restraint not to give in to any kind of temptation here. There might be a temptation to go back to something toxic, but this is showing restraint. This is having that inner willpower and that courage to overcome this. And with the devil in reverse, that is a release. That is letting go of something very toxic to you, something poisonous to you. And as a result, you are moving into this emperor's energy. It's like you are the shit, you know. You know your, you know your value, okay. And we have the six of swords in the reverse. This is what I'm talking about, the temptation to go backwards. Spirit is saying... You have to have that inner strength, that willpower, that courage to have the restraint not to be tempted to return to something toxic. Continue on your path of releasing this and no longer putting time, energy, and money into this and planting your seeds elsewhere that has the potential to grow, okay? This, and this is something that you have been dealing with for a very long time, Sagittarius. And it's time to uproot that and put, plant your seeds in fertile ground. This is fertility. This is re, uh, totally realigning your, your inner self and your abundance, even your finances. There are definitely some financial situations involving this as well. 
Um, this could be divorce or separation. There might be bank accounts tied up with each other. But I feel as so though this is about picking up your seeds, planting them in more fertile ground. And under the deck, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, which is talking about slow, steady progress forward. You are moving forward. It may be, have been slower than what you have wanted it to, but you are going in the right direction and you is leading to something solid and stable. Okay, but that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Bye. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what are the blessed messages for my Capricorns, please? For April 30th, 2021. You have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Two of Wands. So what I'm getting here, Capricorn, is you're walking away from something. You are no longer standing and fighting anymore. Um, I feel like that you are in this position where you've been at this crossroads and you're now making some future plans for yourself. Okay, there's, there's, there is one one behind you and one in front of you that you're holding on here. So I feel like that you're holding on some to the ace of wands, a new passionate beginning, some kind of new idea. I feel like you are making the choice to walk away and no longer fight for something that you feel is not worth fighting for anymore. Something that just kind of maybe presented a an emotional block to you that you are leaving behind, okay? It's like, I can't, the energy is I can't do this anymore. I it, This may hurt, this might be painful, but I need to move on is what I'm getting here. Ten of Wands. I need to, I'm done fighting. I can't do this anymore. I need to drop those burdens is the energy I'm getting. This, is, uh, this has been a long road. I fought a hard, long fight. But it's time to realize that I am beating a dead horse here. And I need to go. That's the energy I'm getting. Judgment. Um, that is, you know, I feel like this, you're making a judgment call. This is like coming to... It's that light bulb moment, that enlightenment moment. It's like you have just kind of like come into a sense of awareness, becoming aware that it's time that you make the right decision, a good job, make a better choice for yourself. Seven of cups and get out of the fantasy land world. Okay. This is about. See, I feel as though that you things were very cloudy for you. There is confusion for you. Somebody may have treated you as an option. And you carried this load for a long time, but I you you're dropping it. And you are now with judgment and the seven of wands in the reverse. This these this energy here is you be seeing things crystal clear. You see the road ahead crystal clear. <clears throat> and we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Um, when I see the Knight of Swords in the reverse, um, I see the brakes being put on. I see you no longer charging forward towards something that just holds you back. Something that oppresses you, holds you down. You can't move. And that's the energy you've been in. You haven't been able to move. And I feel like that you're not going, moving forward anymore. You're taking your swords and you're leaving. And you're, the knowledge, the ex, I mean, the, this experience, you've gone through a very hurtful experience here. And he's carrying four swords and leaving three swords behind. You know, a lot of people see this as a deceit card, the wires card, cheating card, sneaking around. Yes, that is true. But intuitively, I am seeing you leaving the three of swords, the heartbreak behind, and taking the four, the, the rest, rejuvenation swords with you. The knowledge, experience, and 
stability. You are regaining your stability and leaving the pain behind you. Okay, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Bye. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, what are the blessed messages for my, Sag for my Aquarius? I almost said Sagittarius. Uh, maybe you might want to check out the Sagittarius reading. <clears throat> or you might be dealing with a Sag. Okay. So, let's see. What are the blessed messages for my Aquarius? You have the Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. You're really stuck right now, Aquarius. You feel like you're bound up and you're not making any kind of progress. And I feel like it's all in your head, though. And you are bound up to the point where you're not, t where you can't think straight. Okay. There may be some, some kind of financial thing that might be coming up. Doesn't have to be. This could, however, it resonates, whether it's relationships, work, whatever. But I feel as though that there is some kind of financial thing that you've been waiting on and waiting and waiting and waiting. You feel trapped. You feel bound up, unable to sleep, unable to rest. And what I feel as though is you need to quiet the mind spirit is saying, and you need to take some time and meditate on this. Um, we do have the, okay, page of cups in the reverse. <clears throat> Emotionally cut off. You're getting all these reverse cards. King of swords in the reverse. Okay, so you are dealing with somebody who is sweet talking you, who was like, who may have told you everything that you wanted to hear. But they had an ulterior motive. The king of swords in the reverse is somebody who is dishonest. Okay. He could also be somebody who lacks a sense of focus. So I'm getting a couple messages from this king of swords in the reverse. You're lacking some focus because you were dealing with somebody that was dishonest to you. That really gave you some kind of false hope about a situation that is not coming through. And now you're feeling really tied up and bound. Um... And Spirit is saying that you've been carrying this load, Ten of Wands in the reverse, being oppressed. But this is coming to an end. It's near an end. But what I feel is that you need to find, try to find some quiet time, some soothing music. I, I am hearing soothing music, um, maybe even guided meditations, trying to focus inward and trying to release some of those Burdens that are heavy on your mind. Strength in the reverse. There is like this lack of courage, this lack of willpower. So you may have been in a space where you were... You did not have the confidence. And I feel the confidence is going to come from when you quiet that mind and you retrain your thoughts and you focus... It's going to take work. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to take some work. But it's, this is a, a something that you need to start doing, really meditating, really trying to quiet that mind, learn to quiet that mind so that this card could turn upright, so that you can have that strength and courage to do what you need to do, to do what, you, what needs to get done, okay? Whatever the situation is, you know your story. You know what you're caught up in your head about. You know who the liar is that you've been dealing with. You know the person that was giving you false promises. You know who that person is. Maybe it's time you take this other sword here and you cut that person off. Or you stick it right back at them and say, listen here, I know what... The, hey, listen here, I know the, what's going on. The gig is up. I'm hearing the gig is up. Okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Bye. Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your daily reading for April 30th, 2021. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. What are the blessed messages for Pisces for April 30th, 2021?
Okay, Pisces. Wow. You got justice in reverse. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This card's calling to me. Five of Swords. <clears throat> Somebody wasn't playing by the rules regarding a family situation. This is definitely, I feel like, a family situation or family business. This could also be dealing with your money or your security. Somebody wasn't playing by the rules. There may have even have been something illegal. I'm just, I'm putting this out there because justice in reverse. And we have somebody who's doing something unethical regarding money. <clears throat> so this could be, so I'm not sure who this is. If somebody you're dealing with, but it could be a family member. Somebody is not playing by the rules or being fair. Okay. And somebody wants to win it at all costs. And spirit is showing me it could cost somebody their freedom. I don't know who that is for, but it could cost somebody their freedom. We have the temperance card here. Somebody is definitely, you know, I'm going outside the norm of the temperance card for a brief minute. Because somebody is creating a concoction. Okay. Combining, <clears throat> combining, creating. That is, and they're trying to take a shortcut. To restoring balance and bringing balance in, you know, and in the finances or whatever, for them to get something out of it. Somebody's trying to take a shortcut here, when, when in essence, what it is is causing this imbalance. We got the star card. This is divine guidance, and this is being protected. So spirit is telling you, no matter, despite what this person is doing, that. And you go and going back to the temperance card with the angel and then the star, you you are being divinely protected. So I feel as though you need to uh, you need to um, you have a little bit of faith, a little bit of hope, and it's because spirit is saying, no matter what they're doing, they're they are going to get what is theirs. They are probably going to be they are somebody might end up in jail over it, but regardless, you are going to be protected in this situation. Okay. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So I think that there is definitely a decision that's going to be made regarding this injustice that was done to you. There's no more. You've been, you have been juggling robbing Peter to pay Paul because somebody's been robbing from you behind your back. Somebody's been conning you out of your money and it's caused this imbalance. But, and trying to go back and forth of decision, I feel this back and forth energy of what do I do? Do I do A or do I do B? Which action am I supposed to take? You are being divinely guided towards the right action. And I feel like you are, you're getting your answers. Okay. And here we have the four of wands. This is definitely affecting your home or this is your business. But this is like, I'm seeing four walls for a foundation. I'm seeing stability here. Um, stability of the family. This is affecting your foundations. But I feel as though that it's going to, things, it's, things are going to come out balanced. You see, both of these sides are balanced. Balanced energies. Okay. And it is going to have, a, you know, things are going to be restored within your home. So justice will end up being served, even though it feels right now it is not. Because somebody, you know, conned you. I feel some. there was definitely some kind of con. This could even have been one of the spam calls that you received. I don't know who that's for. You know, those these extended warranties or this or that. Or your, your bank account's been compromised, whatever. But it feels like some kind of con. But, you know, it's going to come to light. And it, everything's going to end up restored. Okay? They're not going to get, in other words, they're not getting away with it. Okay, hey, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Bye.